Shares of Hewlett Packard Enterprise falling this morning. Fiscal first quarter profit beat estimates, so revenue missed and sales dropped more than 13% from a year ago. HP also forecast current quarter revenue below analyst expectations. Joining us right now is HP President and CEO Antonio Neri. Good morning to you. Let's talk about it, sir. Um, you're looking at the stock, uh, which has fallen uh, about 5% on the back of this news. Yeah, good morning, Andrew. Thanks for having me. Um, as you said, we had a, a terrific, I will say, profitability quarter on the back of the work we have been doing for a number of quarters now to continue to shift our portfolio to higher growth areas. Uh, and uh, as you can see in our results, uh, our EPS was a beat. Our gross margin was another improvement of 300 basis points, but our revenue was short of the expectations, driven by three key factors, I will say. Number one, obviously, the tough year over year compares, but everybody understands that. But the second key factor was the slowdown in the networking circuit of the market, which we think is going to persist for the short term, although we expect slight improvement in the back half. And even though we had terrific um, AI shipments, a big chunk of those shipments actually are deferred, meaning the revenue is now in the AIR, the annualized revenue rate, which is good for future periods, considering we have $3 billion of backlog we still have to ship over the next few quarters. Uh, and the demand continue to be very strong. Well, let's just talk about the demand being very strong, but at a time when revenue uh, is been very, very tough, and it sounds like it's going to get tougher, no? No, what we said is that we are considered, we actually adjusted a guidance reflecting the networking uh, slowdown. But when you think about our cumulative AI orders, now at the end of Q1, five quarters into this uh, high cycle of AI, we actually booked $4 billion of orders, and we have a $3 billion of backlog. So the reality is we only shipped only a billion. And even that billion dollar we shipped, a portion of that is now in the as a service because of the huge success we have with HP GreenLake. And GreenLake offered the customers, particular enterprise, to consume this as a service. To deploy AI is very expensive. And so while we have seen a lot of traction in the model training side with fewer companies, as we go forward the inference inside, it will be, in my mind, more consumer as a service because these are very expensive right. systems to deploy. Antonio, I want to I read you something. Uh, this is uh, from Morningstar this morning. Uh, we maintain our $16 a fair value estimate of shares of HP. Uh, this after you reported what they're calling weak uh, fiscal first quarter results. By the way, we're at 1450 right now. Um, once uh, the bright spot, uh, uh, well, let me say HP's main end markets continue to be plagued, they're saying, by weaker demand. You're saying you don't believe that's the case. Uh, once the bright spot of networking, it is softening now, which matches what peers like Cisco are seeing in the campus market where HP largely plays. We expect networking softness to weigh on HP's profitability through fiscal 2024. What do you think of that analysis? I think it's fairly uh, balanced, I will say. I know we think about it, the networking market has been a, a strong success for us. In the last two years, we had the $2 billion of revenue in that market. And even this quarter, we grew 2% of the higher baseline. But it's obviously now customers are digesting what we shipped in the last two years. We have no channel issues whatsoever. Our inventory in the channel is super clean. Uh, and I'm excited about, Andrew, the, uh, the pending uh, closure of the Juniper Network acquisition because when we think about where the HP is going to play, it's going to play key three segments. The networking, which is the core foundation of the company going forward, hybrid cloud with HP GreenLake and AI. And AI requires more network ports, not less ports. And that's why when this cycle goes through at the other end, once we close the transaction, we see uh, a significant opportunity and upside for us, particularly networking and AI.